In order to determine the tracking error on that uh, arm that you just saw on that cylinder player, uh, we've made this uh, diagram, which is not to scale as it says. C is the um, pivot of the arm, and E represents the point where the stylus rests on the cylinder, and that's 37.5 centimetres long. We've also assumed that the typical um, extent of the track of a cylinder is 10 centimetres. So we're showing here the midpoint, uh, which the arm is at right angles to the cylinder, and the tracking area is zero because um, it's at right angles to the tangent AB, which is the line along which the cylinder would have been cut. So we're concerned with the, we're playing the cylinder from right to left, so we're looking at the second half, um, so we're getting a triangle uh, CDE, and um, we, we know two sides of it, we know that DE is 5 centimetres, and we know that CE is 37.5 centimetres, so H um, is easily obtained and um, comes to a 3.3 um, millimetres longer than the arm of 37.5 centimetres. Let's take a closer look at those figures. Here's a close-up uh, where the arc followed by the arm intersects the tangent along which the cylinder was cut. And there's our cylinder track marked out as 10 centimetres long. We can see that playing from right to left there is an initial error of 3.3 millimetres which gradually diminishes to zero and then rises again to 3.3 millimetres um, at the end of the cylinder. That's all quite straightforward. But of course we don't actually uh, do this. Uh, we actually put the arm a bit forward as you'll now see. Well, of course what we do is split the difference. Um, I mean, I've split it in half. Uh, there may be a better way of splitting it, I don't know, but uh, we, what, what we now see is quite obvious. When the cylinder begins at B, there is an initial error of 1.65 millimetres, which gradually diminishes to zero, and then rises in the other direction to 1.65 mils. Then as it carries on, it decreases to zero again, and by the end of the cylinder, it's increased to 1.65 millimetres. Um, so we have two points of zero error, and a maximum error of uh, 1.65 millimetres. Uh, to sum up, I don't think this tracking error is, is significant, though of course I, I might have been talking about right angle triangles and all that kind of thing, but I'm not really a very technical person, I just like to tinker with things, but I don't think that's a significant uh, tracking error. Um, the, the situation as regards discs is much more complicated and I think that's because discs have a variable groove velocity whereas cylinders have a constant groove velocity but um, I hope this has uh, been of some help and um, it certainly helped me to concentrate on things a bit better.